So welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this video is all about the nano browser AI web agent and automation and this can be the browser use killer and this is free of cost. You can use it and it's working. I have tried the browser use. It was not working previously but I am really blown away with this. So it's very simple. You just go and get this as an extension for your browser. It could be the Chrome browser it could be the edge I'm using on the edge by the way and if I click here on the nano browser you can see we have a nice little prompt box where you can give the task you want to automate on your browser that's right it's using your existing browser that means all the session all the login information everything is there on your browser and it's going to work over that let me show you but before that we need to configure the ai model so if you go on this setting part that means is gear part on this model section you need to provide the model and i'm going to use the gemini because gemini is a real powerful thing and i have added a api key how you can add the api key you just need to go to the ai studio.google.com slash api key here click on the create api key and then copy that key use it directly here now i'm going to save this and once you save the model then you can define which model you can use for which task so you can add multiple model but right now i'm using the same model and here i'm going to use the pro preview the gemini 2.5 pro which is really really mind-blowing and i'm going to use it for every place that's done and once this is done then what i'm going to do i'm going to ask for something so let's do this open the new tab and open the nano browser extension here i'm going to write this so open the x.com search for sam altman then go to his profile and get his latest post i can say latest post and hit like on it that's the task and let's see how it is going to perform so when i send it it's going to first create the planning for what it need to do after i hit done with the planning now it's navigating and doing our task so first task is to open the x.com which it has already done now next is to search for the sam altman so for that it need to search where to search and when it found the search bar then it's going to enter sam altman on it you see yeah sam altman is there now it is on the search result it will be interesting to see how it go into the sam altman profile great that's done it is inside the sam altman profile and now it need to find the latest post which i think it has found and the final task is to hit like button on this and let's see how this is going to finally do the like part okay so that's planning is done and navigator is going to like it yes you can see it like the sam altman latest post uh, it was not exactly the latest post but you can see there is a second post but the post is really really nice so i can call it a retweet and just call it as a tweet so consider it as a done part that's powerful i cannot imagine how how easy it is to automate task on the browser so you can see this happened because of the power of the AI we have. We have different models we can add on it. We can add OpenAI, Entropic, DeepSeek, or Llama, the local one. Even you can add the open router, which include all the models we have and everything is really powerful. You can go to the general tab and set the maximum step per task. Like right now it's a hundred step and max action per step. So in a one step, how many action it need to do and the failure tolerance, like how many times it can call it a failure. So it's going to retry three times and enable vision with highlighting. Now, this is interesting. So let's enable this and I'm going to say uh, go to Amazon.in and search for iPhone 16 Pro and finally add it to my cart. Okay this time it should show me the vision so what it is doing where it is searching and how it is highlighting everything should be here so it has opened the amazon.in now it's task to yeah you can see th these are the columns with the different yellow green blue red color that means it is doing 
the research on the page or basically crawling it and searching where to do the next task so see all these things are here and now it has done that now once it is having the result then again it's going to scan our dom and at this time it's going to find out that hey yes we have the iphone here and it's going to click on that so once this is clicked then it's going to again go to the next page and again see the dom how it is structured and vision it so finally it's going to add it to the cart the best part is you can actually do the checkout thing but i'm not trusting this browser to give me the card details and every other things so that's why i am doing till the add to cart part but if you can then you can do all that amazing things okay now you can see it's finding the add to cart button and it's not finding at this level so next task is to scroll down so that it can find the add to cart button okay so it is stuck at this point i believe and it is not able to find so remember we have the failure threshold so three times if it is fail then it's going to do something else and see it failed three times and again it started planning and planning is same so it's not able to find if i scroll down like manually then let's see if it is able to find that button or not so it should find the add to cart button which is here on the number 24 and once it is there then it's going to hit the add to cart yeah click on the add to cart button to iphone 16 pro to shopping cart yes you can see it has done so 90 percent time it worked and uh, sometime it doesn't so it's good it's good and i can see this is the power of ai having in our real life let me know in the comment section what exactly you are going to automate with this nano browser extension and with the power of gemini 2.5 pro and if you like this video don't forget to hit subscribe and share this video with your friend don't forget to like this button because that's how algorithm know that this is really amazing video see you in the next video till then goodbye